Hello again everyone and welcome back to Oblivion. We're here just outside of Newt Cave, which we have just ransacked. Full of um, lovely rats and will-o'-the-wisps and all manners of different ogre. Um, and we do have a kit. This is a very nice glade, isn't it? This is like... This is like Ghost of Sushimresk, this, this like little grove here, isn't it? And I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, we do have another cave coming up here to the northwest. Uh, what kind of cave it actually is, we don't know. Um, but I'm sure we're going to find out in a second. Timber Scar Hollow. Well, that, that, that is something. Timber Scar Hollow. Nice. Right, okay, let us go into Timber Scar Hollow. And whip out our Big Daddy Umbra. Um, oh, there is remnants of a alien ruin here. Oh, is no, no. Oh, rock biter goblin. It's not a warlord. However, he does seem quite resilient. L listen, right, okay. Did I just kill him with the fucking, the fucking hilt of my hilt of my sword? Fair enough. Yeah, this this is curious. You you don't see many caves like this. Uh, what's going on? Over oh, are they fighting? What are they fighting? Oh, this is like a goblin war. Ooh, the goblins are fighting each other. Let's let's just sit here and watch. I don't know what sides are involved in this, but um, I'm sure after after all is finished, we can examine the remnants of this battle. One of the goblins has been paralyzed and is now currently sat on the floor, helpless. He, he's up again now. He, he's, he's being turned... Okay, that one's dead. He was paralyzed and then turned into a pincushion. Absolutely lovely way to go. The, the, the archer's getting ganked and refuses to, to, to switch to a melee weapon. There's like a triple threat going on over there. Honestly, it's absolute carnage. I I, I, don't, I, I don't know who's on whose side at the minute. Um, but I'm quite curious as to see who's left after 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 this just scrum of goblins. Um, although, let's be honest, whoever is alive um, after all this, I, we, you know, we, we are going to have to run in and just kind of gank because uh, we, 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 we can't leave any mini goblins like there is actually two more goblins coming down the corridor L maybe going to get involved in this brawl i don't know uh, okay that that looked like a three i was gonna say that looked like a three on one but those two goblins are now turn uh, turning on the other got the other one there is more goblins coming down the corridor now they all seem to be on the same side i don't know if there's more goblins coming from a different direction um but uh, i I don't know what side these goblins are going to be on, whether they're going to join in on beating this one goblin up, or whether they're going to come to his rescue. Um, we, we will probably find out So, Oh my god, I think they're, they're actually coming to his rescue. Oh god, okay, this is... Yep, yeah, there, there is... There, yep, okay, yep, yeah, the reinforcements have... I've been spotted by, by someone. Um, I, I'm not sure if they're actually going to attack me. It, it, it doesn't seem like they are. So, so I think at this point we're still safe to just watch. I, I'm, I'm just going to sit here and watch until until one of them actually goes for me. Okay, so this one's trying to attack me. Are, are these guys are all now now all on the same side? A bloody hand goblin skirmisher. Okay, you you guys have now forced my hand to get involved in this fight. You know, I, I was perfectly happy just just watching. I'm going to get. I'm I'm being battered by. Another skirmisher over here. This guy has 298 steel, steel arrows. That guy has 290. I, 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 I think you, you guys are overcompensating there slightly. There's a bloody hand goblin berserker with an axe over here. And honestly, it, it, it's absolute bedlam. I have no idea what what the hell kind of conflict I, I've, I've walked into. This is this is like the Cold War of, of, of Oblivion right now. Honestly, it's carnage. It's absolute... The bloody hand goblin watching. This is, this is the big daddy of the of, of, of the bloody hand. So, so I think was it the it was the bloody hand and and, and the rock biters was it I think. It's curious. Right. 
Is there another one? I'll, I'll take his staff. So, so apparently I can I I'm, I can be seen by someone. I just don't know who. Bloody hand goblin skirmisher as well. They all have so many steel arrows. It's scary. Bloody hand, rock biter, rock biter. Yeah. So, so they they all have basically the same equipment. Well, okay, that might be the one who can see me. <laughs> they, this guy's a rock biter, so. I don't know if he was part of the reinforcement brigade, but he's arrived slightly too late. <laughs> that honestly looked like I, ju I just punched him. Which I might have done, I don't know. My guy might have just got tired of using his sword and decided to bonk him on the head. Um, right. So we're going to leave that there. Yeah, I, I I don't know what what ancient history lies between the between between these two goblin clans, but I'm sure it's intense. To be honest, the bloody hand looks like it's slightly stronger than the than the rock biter clan, just based on the amount of corpses I'm currently seeing on the floor and what I just witnessed in the battle bit in the battle back there. Uh, although quite curiously, I didn't I didn't see the rock biter chief anywhere. We. We fought and killed the, 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 the bloody hand chief, but where was the rock biter chief? Is is my is my interesting question. Unless this was like a rock biter invasion. And the rock biters yeah, the the rock biters have, have like launched an attack on the bloody hand from, from, from some base somewhere potentially. I don't know. There is there is all there's all manner of possibility right now, and I am. Oh, hello there. One goblin on his own, unsuspecting, and it's a rock biter as well. Again, I don't know if there's any markings at all that that can kind of tell what clan they are. I think I think there was a a goblin clan which were like painted in white. I think. Oh, is this it? Is this the war chief? Oh, there's three goblins. Let's get this. This is the war chief, right? Okay. This. Oh my god, there is there is there is all manner of rock biters going on right now. We need to defend for our lives here. If we kill the war chief, that might. That might lower their morale if uh, if my if my if my total war logic is 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 anything to go by. Oh, it's 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 not gonna help if I'm paralyzed on the floor though. To be honest with you, I am currently very much struggling. I I I'm getting absolutely butchered by everything in in a in a two meter radius. Um. Kill the, try and kill this damn shaman. Because he, cause he's just going to launch electric after electric ball against me. Alright, I should be able to get this last goblin now, actually. Now, block skill increase. Good stuff. Kill, kill the headless zombie. Right, now it's just the shaman left. Is he going to pull out... Has he pulled out a melee weapon? He has, hasn't he? He's got a knife in his hand, I think. Yes, he does. Well, he's, he's not attempted to use the knife yet. He, he, he's... Uh... Oh. He also had an absolute crap ton of healing potions. What was it? What is it with shamans and just stocking up on healing potions unnecessarily? I mean, to be fair, at least that one used one of them. Like, at least that one actually attempted to uh, to, to, to keep herself alive. I assume it was a woman, wasn't it? I think, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Whoa. <clears throat> my my mouse almost just slid right off my desk there. That could have been catastrophic. It's already done that many many times, and somehow the mouse is still alive. So I I I I, I don't want to test my luck. Uh. Oh, I've gone the completely wrong way. I've, 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 I've already been, been in there. We need to go this way. I think. No, not that way. This way. 
See what's down here. And that, okay, that was it. That's fine. Oh well. Yeah, this was, this was, this was an interesting cave. It was. It's. It's. It's not often you see, you come into a cave and, and you actually see a fight. Like I think we've seen it between bandits before, but I don't think we've ever seen it between goblins. I could be wrong. We have been through a lot of caves in this game and seen seen a lot of shit, so it might have happened. But um, yeah, it was different, wasn't it? It was. It was different. And again, I, I'm 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 interested to see if there's any like deep deep law behind uh, behind that as well. Is that a fort in the distance? Yes, it is. There, there's also a fort in the distance as well. Good stuff. Is it is it on this side or the other side of the river? I'm not sure. Who's that? Guy? Who are that, those over there? Are they hostile or are they friendly? They, they don't look hostile, to be honest with you. Crestbridge Camp. They all look friendly enough. Yes, they are. We're all so worried about the goblins. We may not be as hospitable. Is it? Is it those goblins back there? Goblins. Everything was going well. We had set up camp at Cropsford, and it looked like a beautiful spot. Ah. The goblins. You guys were at Cropsford. Thank Ifra that Marissa was there. Without her, the goblins would have surely killed us all. It was my father's dream for us all to start a new life there. He spent everything he had to buy the land. Now it all seems to be ruined. Not if I have anything to say about it. My father hired her as a guide at an inn south of here. Good thing too. She saved our lives. I've been They're south of here. There's, 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 there's no inn in sight. Barthel Garnard is my father. I'm worried about him. I think it'll break his heart if we can't build Cropsford. Farewell. Do I have to speak to Bartho? Hello. I hope the goblins along the yellow road didn't give you any trouble. No, no. If you ask Barthel, it's the garden spot of Tamriel. See for yourself. It's just northwest of here. But watch out for the goblins. It's a very nice area. Don't, don't get me wrong. We had just set up at Cropsford when Marissa came running in. Said goblins were heading our way. We barely escaped with our lives. Goodbye, Blackwood Company. The Fighters Guild has a new master. That would be me. Well met. Come, warm yourself by our fire. Why, thank you. How very polite of you. Follow the yellow road northwest from here. You'll see the supplies they had to abandon when the goblins attacked. We'll get them back. Make sure not to eat. Right, so the, is this the lady's father? Yes. Hello, my friend. A word of advice. Watch for goblins if you're heading north. She's a wilderness guide we hired to lead our expedition to Cropsford. Saved our lives when the goblins attacked. It's northwest of here along the yellow road. You'll see some of our supplies near the road where we left them when the goblins attacked. Watch out for them if you're heading north. We ran into goblin war parties northwest of here while starting to build a new settlement. Hmm. My family and I are still trying to figure out what to do. We spent everything we had to buy the land and supplies, so we can hardly go back. Say, do you think you could help us? We need to get the goblins off our land of course. so we can start building our new settlement. I would be delighted. Yes, I'll help. I had a good feeling about you, friend. You should talk to Marisa about the goblins. She's our guide and knows what needs to be done. I'm always up for killing some goblins, especially if there's warlords. They, 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 they deserve it. Have you made any progress? We plan to call it Cropsford. My daughter Kalia, her husband Alois and I came all the way from High Rock to start a new life. High Rock? Jesus, that's a long way. We have a charter from the county. Everything done official and by the book. I'm sure now that they knew all along that the hand was in goblin territory. But no matter... Who cares if a few settlers get themselves killed? Right. Farewell. So, Marissa. Go ahead, please. You've agreed to help them clear the goblins from Cropsford? That's great news. I've done some scouting around while we've been camped here. Your eyebrows and terrify me, Marissa. I'm sorry, but... In the middle of a goblin war. The caves around here are infested with goblins. Normally, goblins stay close to their lairs, 
I wonder if this is related to what we've just done. But two tribes are at war, and their war parties are crossing right through Cropsford. What you'll need to do is... Are they called the rock biters in the bloody hand by any chance? The two nearest are Timber Scar Cave and Cracked Wood Cave. Here. I'm, I feel like I may have done both. We've definitely done Timber Scar. Goblins have their own reasons for doing things. Don't make sense to us, usually. But I've learned a lot about their ways over the years. Each tribe guards a head in its lair. Whose head, I don't know. A sacred tribal totem, or something like that. Anyway, if you want to rile up a goblin tribe, steal their tribal head. Which is often what a rival tribe does, just to prove they're tougher. I'd lay odds that the war between the two tribes is because of a stolen tribal head. Nor so okay. To stop the war, all you need to do is sneak into Timberscar Cave, find the stolen tribal head, and return it to the Cracktwood Cave Goblins. Unless you want to do things the hard way. Well. You could always just fight your way into Cratwood Cave and kill their shaman. I I've kind of done that, I think. Led by a shaman, but she mostly stays hidden in the heart of the lair. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done that. But kill the shaman, and the tribe will dissolve into confusion. Most likely end the war. I, I think I've done that. You killed the shaman of Yep, Cracked there we go. Cave? I'm impressed. Barthel Janand will be glad to hear that. Farewell. So is that it then? Just to swipe the Whoa, whoa, okay. Woohoo. Oh, I've taken the tome head. Did we? Let me know as soon as Goblin War. You took care of the goblin menace? That's great news, my friend. Now we can get back to building our new lives at Cropsford. Please be sure to come and visit us in a month or so. In a month or so. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll try and remember that. Come back in a few weeks. You may be surprised at what we can accomplish. Will do. Aloys, Kalia, he's cleared the goblins from Cropswood for us. It's safe for us to build the settlement. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what a reaction! Good news, guys, we can build the settlement. Oh. Hello. Oh, Oblivion, you, you you do crack me up sometimes. <laughs> Fort Cedrian. Okay, let let's go into Fort Cedrian and, and see what we can dig up in here. That's brilliant. I love that. <laughs> oh, we can finally we we can finally build this settlement which which we sold everything and travelled all this distance to get to. And and we've basically been saved from from a potential life of poverty. Oh, hello. All right, I can hear battle music, but I can't. I'm not being. I. I. I don't know whether to be alarmed. Hello there. Okay, so she she pulled. I don't know what's happening right now. Nern root! Yes. There's always Nern root somewhere, isn't there? Right, so this place is completely flooded. Go away with your ivory armor. Is that ivory? I think it's ivory. Could be ebony. Dead. Right. Okay, we are now invisible again. Oh, it's ebony. It's ebony armor. I should. Is ivory armor even a thing? It's probably not, is it? You're gonna get snuck up on. Battle mage. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, battle mage. Fort Cedrian Mausoleum. Okay. Am I still being chased down by an unknown presence? I, I don't think I am. Pretty sure I'm not, but I could be wrong there. Right, can we get through here? We can. We just need to lockpick it. Let's get this chest over here first, though. To make sure all is well. Gold and a repair hammer. 
Right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, this is this is properly flooded. Lockpicking a chest underwater must must take a, a good a good level of skill. You know. Definitely, definitely got a, a good level of skill going on there. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, we may as well go to the mausoleum, and we'll check out the rest of the, this area's level when we come back through. Um, okay, so on that note, guys, we're going to end this episode here, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I shall catch you all in the next episode of Oblivion. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.